of oil from our joint oil reserves. Half of that, 30 billion, billion, excuse me, is coming from the United States. And we're taking steps to ensure the reliable supply of global energy. We're also going to keep working with every tool at our disposal to protect American families and businesses. So, but nobody yet on how the negotiation is going or how the negotiation went. But it would be interesting to find out what would be Russia's position on this now if Maduro actually go into negotiation with the U.S. to replace Russia. It will be an interesting conversation, and we're going to continue to watch it. In fact, when I posted this story on the page, someone messaged me and said, listen, it's not April 1st as yet. It's not all fools day as yet. Because it is so unbelievable that this negotiation would even be taking place. Very, very interesting to see what would be the outcome of this, what would be Russia position, what would be Venezuela position, and how the talks is actually going with the U.S. and Venezuela in replacing Russia oil into the U.S. But we go keep our eyes on this news to see how it transpire with this potentially new U.S. Venezuela kind of deal. Very interesting stuff. We'll keep you guys abreast as to how the talk's going. Keep it locked here to Ride Along Live. Ride Along Live. I mean, yeah, it's the real deal. 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 <clears throat> hmm. That is so interesting, eh? It's for real, you know. That is so interesting, Trinidad and Tobago. And according to the article, the U.S. sends delegation to Venezuela as it mulls over Russia oil import ban. If you go down to the story, it says the United States broke off diplomatic relations with Venezuela in 2019 after national elections that cemented Nicolas Maduro as president sanctions followed targeting specifically Venezuela oil industry, the lifeblood of the regime. So, and you see, um, <laughs> well, let's open the lines. Let me hear what people have to see. But interestingly, the interesting part of this whole thing is all that the opposition leader had said. What would she say now, boy? I wonder what going through her head. But let's open the lines. 475-7426-307-0930. Who gone to Dubai? Oh, God, this book. <laughs> look. Guys, call us up, please. Give have, them your numbers, please. I have one here. Wait, wait, go Take on. it. Three four two zero zero eight one, and the four six six five three. I have one here. Go ahead. Caller, good morning. Good morning, Miss Sharon. Good morning. Good morning, Bruce Wayne. Morning, morning. Good morning, Bruce Wayne. How are you? Hey, the cool man. Well, Sharon, let us see three things being worked out here. Let us see if the if Monroe doctrine is being worked out. <sighs> let us see what 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 the term. The, 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 the sphere of influence is, is, is being played out. And let us see the term geopolitics being worked out there too. Are you, know, are you associated with those three things, um, Sharon? I'm listening. Geopolitics is my, one of the, my interests. Geopolitics, <laughs> the Monroe Doctrine, and the, and, 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 and the sphere of influence. Now, Russia supply weapons are to Venezuela. Mm. I have planes already. I remember, I remember that story. Mm -hmm. So, see in the so-called sphere of influence. And the Monroe Doctrine, geopolitics, tech techniques, you can hear this, is, 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 is basically the, the backbone neighbor, you just want America, just, you know, you call the Monroe Doctrine and, 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 the, and the geopolitics, just, so let's see what's going on. How does, how, how does it look out? But that is trouble with our capital T, you know. Hmm. Too close to home. Right? And people talking about all they want to establish based in China again. If war comes, 
If God forbid, we'll watch you start. Let me explain you know, to people. Uh, Wait, caller, let me explain to people what you're talking about with the Monroe Doctrine. A principle mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. U.S. policy originated mm-hmm. by President James Monroe that mm-hmm. any intervention by external powers in the politics of the Americas is a potential hostile act against the mm-hmm. U.S. Mm-hmm. And the mm-hmm. geopolitics mm-hmm. is politics, especially international relations, as influenced mm-hmm. by geographical factors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you remember the Cuban Missile Crisis? Mm. Two shots decided to put missiles in the back door, uh, in, 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 in Cuba. Remember? Nuclear missiles. Mm. Remember that? You remember that? You remember that situation? Mm-hmm. People who wasn't born in 1963. That was when the world was close to the, was the brink of nuclear war, too. Right? It was right in the back door in the United States of America. I'll think about it. That was that was the nineteen that was nineteen sixty two, huh? I think nineteen sixty two, nineteen sixty two. Yeah, look at here. Pull it up. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a major confrontation in nineteen sixty two that brought the United States and the Soviet Union close to war over the presence of Soviet nuclear armed ballistic <laughs> missiles in Cuba. When did the Cuban Missile Crisis take place? The Cuban Missile Crisis took place in October nineteen sixty two. And don't forget one more thing. Add add us to your list too. The the the, the Grenada invasion in nineteen eighty. Mm-hmm. 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 And you can have little things as well. Remember, um, Mister Manley in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. One of them. One of them. Something was 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 um, experimental with socialism and um, the power was he wasn't too happy with it and and we have our own situation with the black power situation in this country. That was in nineteen eighty three. The the, the uh, Canadian yeah. invasion, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, the Ricky and the Shabby. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. All that, you know. Mm-hmm. So people, um, all they, all they remember is China. Right? And then we had the Black Power situation, too, with that other thing, and then forget the 1990. Triangle, it's too, too so comfort, you know. I say just when we trying to fight to get out of the pandemic, here mm-hmm. comes another one. Yeah, we come up. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. People <sighs> don't think like it. It's a big joke. They don't understand right. the impact this will have. No? They, don't, they don't understand. Right, the Prime Minister thing. Some man said that the, the, the program that the Prime Minister had was staged. You know? What was staged? <laughs> it was staged in which way? People send the Prime Minister go there and he carry well, I, his different ministers. And some of the questions come off of Facebook. You know, people send their questions, you know. And there are some people who say that the Prime Minister wasted time with that, you know. No matter how many times the Prime Minister come to the people, they don't want them, they don't want to listen to him. All they study is calling for general election. But yeah. you're calling for a general election to do what? Yeah. For, 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 for what? But, but, for, for the but, UNC but, to but, come back here to finish mash up Trinidad and Tobago? Hmm. The, 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 the pandemic is, has been doing it to us. For they now to come in to strengthen the pandemic to finish kill us now? But, 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 Trinidad and Tobago, everybody. I'm not even going to come and tell everybody this morning. Seven, yeah, I remember in 1962, we had to arrive in September. And in, in October, somewhere there, when we said, try to pass Nathan to, to Cuba, and Kennedy stopped them at his thing, and blah, blah, blah. But what I called for, Seven, our ballerination and a foolish list that taking place in Tobago. The election, yes, um, nine, about two months ago or so. We put people in place to represent different divisions or different sections and to represent the people of the group. The creator or creator, there was a position that they call 
Assistant Chief Secretary or Deputy Chief Secretary, Bill Clinton Bingo. For some reason, the Deputy Chief Secretary ended up with an office in Trinidad, this in Trinidad. So they changed the Deputy Chief Secretary name to Ambassador of Tobago. The question is, is it Tobago as a different entity, a different country? Just now, Trinidad? wait, Mr. Archer. If the THs, how can you just change a position just like that? But when I'm not trying to change the position, I want to know. So, so in other words, there's no what deputy. Is the what is the purpose of an individual? Wait, hold on, hold on. There is no ch deputy chief secretary in the THA anymore. No, well, no, he's ambassador. No, but what did he swear in as? Well, deputy chief secretary. So how could that be changed? Isn't that a procedure supposed to be done to have that changed? No, I'm just no, asking, man, I'm just asking. The man, the man, who, the man who is the deputy chief secretary, you know, you know they have no rules and regulations. He or she does what he or she see. Oh, never mind. So that is the problem. Now today, the man is in the man is in is in Dubai representing the TA. Now they have they have something in Dubai where the country have to send somebody or should send somebody. But this man is in Dubai now representing to be good the TA. So I want to know, is the gentleman alone by himself? Because I know an ambassador going anywhere, they work with the wife, they work with the people. So I want to know if this if this ambassador is in Dubai by himself, or if he if he, I want to know if he takes his wife with him, if he, if he take an insurance, and how much it costs. And you know before that, the other thing they talk about consultation or consult people or what they want to do. And it had some bloggers, some people. I could remember he Tracy was not the chief secretary and he Tracy go down the road. He Tracy go in the washroom you hear yeah. some some Charles and, and Robert and whosoever bloggers, all kind of thing. You know you're not hearing one not one thing. You owe the people and the money you can pay you can pay workers you promise him nothing to him that you in Dubai spreading joy? You in Dubai spreading joy? You're not here representing the people and the first thing they were saying that representation and we're going to finger and all kind of foolishness. Now, Sharon, this is Trinidad and Tobago. And then it's alleged that if the place that they rent for the office for the deputy chief secretary Line ambassador. There's some SAP, SA or something building. They have a office for they have a office for the, the, the man who was something in TSE. I don't know what he was. Like he he been labeled same time PSA, so he have the same PSA. So I'm calling on the chief secretary to come out and let to be going and know what is the purpose of the the ambassador on the line, the deputy secretary, doing in Dubai. Let us know. We want to know. Do they take to be going money and spend it like a crazy and when they come and talk about the plan and your 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 your, your, your to, to, to let everything go fair and square. Everybody will know what they are simply doing. But this man is in Dubai, you want to know if you care why to get want to know if you care I enjoy that, want to know if you be alone. Oh God, Charlie, I really want to know what's taking place in the assembly. Thank you, Mr. Archer. Mm -hmm. People are, do I, 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 are not going to stop when Tobago calling because they doesn't have much time sometimes with us. Mm -hmm. I want you. Go ahead. Call a good morning. Hi, morning, Sharon. Morning to Bruce. Morning, morning. morning to good all, morning, Bowley Jr. Um, good morning. Yeah, Mr. Archer, I just hope that what's new is not displaced in Fali, and I hope they have a good time, but ensuring that the people of Tobago get what they, they're entitled to. Um, but Sharon, what you all reasoning this morning, respect to um, what, you, what you played, 
Um, it's so important. And mm. a lot of things Trinidadians miss, eh? and Tibigonians, they miss the whole question of, you know, two areas, diplomatic relations and foreign policy. Now, it's like a minefield. Dr. Raleigh has been very, very careful, sometimes stern, and sometimes disrespected by the same Kamala Prasad and the court as to what he says in the diplomatic circle. Now, he's, he's, he's more respected than anybody else. And that's because of his cautious way of dealing with things from the diplomatic level. Not only that, the pivotal role the Minister of Foreign Affairs plays, because he, he manages it quite carefully to know that whatever happens out there, we have been the benefit of conversation and how we manage things in that circle to be respected by even the Venezuelans, by the Americans, and we wouldn't go as far as Russia because we really don't have any links to Russia. And I say that to say this. When you whimsically see things out there, like Mr. Sati Sessa, now she just jumps out of her bed eh, and says things like, you know, I support, I think the one that Donald Trump, imagine Donald Trump, eh? Americans were uncomfortable <laughs> with Donald Trump. And she just fall in line with Donald Trump in relation to him just picking up somebody because Donald Trump said, hey, he's going to leave Venezuela. And she just jumped on it. Dr. Ali have steadfastly maintained the position, and here it is today. Now, we're not too sure what will happen with the Americans and the Venezuelans because of relationship. So, you know, and, and within fairness, I think we are, remaining, we are remaining pretty quiet and just observing the whole question of what's going on with Ukraine, with the Russians, and our benefit might be increased oil price. Now, I come in there. When you have increased oil price and you have a responsible government, you would know that they would manage it in the welfare and the interest of the people. Now, go back to Kamala Prasad. She had the highest oil price during her term in office. And what happened, people of Trinidad and Tobago? She spent it out. She borrowed over the threshold. And I keep telling Trini that poverty sometimes is created by people themselves. And government have a limited benchmark they could use to take care of the poor. So if you get in the social assistance program that deals with it, you would know that, listen... There's a limit to manage what you call recurrent expenditure. Sean, I am so... I'll tell people, Bruce, only I am pleased with how our country is running. It's not perfect. There are a lot of areas to cover. But I know that the people waiting in the wings there, with the, the whole disorganized approach in trying to get into office, that UNC group, i just warning people, you know, those people don't have your interests at heart. You see what they do with the, sadly with the people who died? You know, they, they jump on the bandwagon, bandwagon, and those people know. Here we go on. Dr. Orley said, you know what? Instead of hiring professionals, and you see Mr. Tia said, he want to get mixed up with people like Kamala Fasad and yet, who never win a case, eh? but politically want to want to describe people and all kind of thing in the energy circle. That woman, you know. So you see that the whole question of Dr. Orley call it, call it, calling a commission inquiry, and I want to explain to people, it will cost millions of dollars. You know, we're going to start quarreling as to who is the lawyers getting the money? That same Kamala Passat sit down there. So something that would have cost probably not even $1 million going to cost millions of dollars now because they want that. And they're going to send out the Attorney General sending money on something that the PNM call. People are warning all here. You, know? you don't just get up a morning and run a country. You get up a morning but when you have an opposition leader who disorganized. And the media don't highlight her at all, you know. You ever see Kamala Prasad sit down for an interview with TNT3? Are you crazy? You see on any station? I don't know. Rowley Jr. hear any? Rowley yeah. Jr. hear any? Um, yeah. Rowley Jr. But Junior? you know, uh, do we have a break? No, you're hearing but me. But anyhow, let me end. Let me end. Right, but okay. I just want to warn people to be very careful and pay attention to details. Thank you, Sharon and Bruce. All the best. Okay. I was trying to get his joy's attention, but I don't know what's, what's happening. But, um... I want to tell him, go to the head of the class. You hit the nail on the head. I have never, and you will never, in no capacity can she sit down to do an interview with anybody or have a discussion, as a matter of fact, with anybody or take questions to answer because she has to be advised on too many occasions. That's right. Caller, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Morning, Bruce. Morning. Um... When I heard um, Mr. Mountain George use a topic this morning about that $5 million that they say they want to give out. I saw it on the news last night saying they've given out this money to people in need. I want to know who are these people in need because it was their chief secretary when they came into office who said that all those grants and services that 
previous THA used to give out would be no more. And every tower had to sit on their own bottom. So I want to know, are these people in need? Are these the people who assisted them in getting into office? Because it is alleged that these people were promised things. So land giving out and money giving out under the disguise of people in need? Let's finally come out and tell to the Gunners the truth. Who are these people? Because if every time has to sit on their own bottom and they're no longer giving out all these grants and services, where this $5 million come from, although the THC has no money, because EPEF can't get paid, your RP can't get paid, but you have money to do all kinds of things because they send people in Dubai. Hmm. And I, I but what, with, what does Dubai, what, what benefit is Dubai bringing to hello? Tobago? You hear me, Kola? Hello? Yes, you hearing me? What's going on there? Which are there people going to do that? And I'm, it's not, it's not what because I saw a picture with that gentleman and the pastor sent him on. So, so maybe that gentleman in Florida, so maybe that gentleman has also gone to Dubai with the ambassador. So they need to come out and talk to Tobago people and tell Tobago people the truth. This is what they vote for. This is the change. They say the change from the dollar doesn't make the noise. Hmm. Have a blessed morning. Thank you, Thank you so much. Well, you know, when you think the problems will fix, like it getting worse. But I don't want to say too much. Because you know there's one quick to cuss up your tail. We take in your calls, guys. You can call us in. I want you. Yeah. Caller, good morning. Yeah, blessed morning to you, Mr. Bruce Boswin. Morning, my brother. Morning. The Shannon Felix, Dominic, all loyal listeners and callers, all who are the live, all, all, always share the live. I would like to say something on this matter, but first, you see the opposition leader. For the last seven years, she has been spiteful. Her motive is spite. Because all appointees made by the PNM in any establishment concerning governance have been disrespected, demeaned, brought down, belittled, whatever adjective you want to find to make somebody look bad. Because according to, to the opposition, they belong to the PNM. I want to tell Ms. Bethesda, all PNM better than any UNC, any day, any one or all year. UNC, all PNM is better than any. If we have PNM, people don't understand that all the opposition, with the opposition to give to Trinidad and Tobago, eh? what they could bring? Governance, management of, of, of state, state. Ooh, all you, check all yourself. Eh? All PNM is better than any UNC, right? No concerning the, the Situation with Mr. Maduro, President Maduro, I warning you, be careful. You hear me? First thing, all shang sanctions must be lifted. If he ain't doing that, nothing doing. Nothing at all will be done because they see the money dropped in according to you. You hear, you hear you read it out, Mr. Felix? That is why they just run inside Venezuela just so they are, they are not sanctioned, you know, but they want oil. They just run in Venezuela just so and talking because, and remember, they had Guaido. The others are showing you. They were but Guaido, but, but, but look, they want Guaido. to talk to Maduro now. Mr. Biden, <laughs> be careful. Hello? Yeah, man. But, but, yeah, but listen to me. I want to know where Guaido wants. So, Hello? Sharon? So, Graham Tracy, so hearing me? In, Sharon? Yeah. Listen, Where listen Guido Sharon. gone? How oh, oh, Guido just disappear from the face of the earth? Oh, well, well. let me finish where I'm really coming to, um, to talk about. You see, what is going on there is a spoke they're trying to put between Venezuela and Russia also. Mm -hmm. Because Venezuela need the cash right now. They need that money because... What is going on in Venezuela? We have some, some people who come from Venezuela seeking, um, let me say, a financial status. So if Venezuela get back on that footing, making sure that the, all sanctions are lifted, 
then we would have we wouldn't have no influx of Venezuelans. Thank you, Mr. Antilles and Bruce Swain. Yeah, my brother. Take care. You're welcome. Mm, I tell you. 7.43 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Today is the 10th of March, 2022. Mm. Morgan, George. Yes, Auntie Sharon. Uh, mm. Mr. Guaido, he must be somewhere uh, out in the sea trying to get to Trinidad. <laughs> we open these uh. people in there because remember that this camera boy, you know. Oh, and now, now that Mad uh, Maduro is back, he had to run because he was fighting against Maduro. So you know, after he is somewhere there, and he must have a yacht out in the sea there waiting for opening to come to meet camera. Because you realize all kind of things happening here. And it had a fellow yesterday. Uh, let me just say this. This fellow who was saying that they fed up with the PLM and they were talk on another frequency. Uh, well, let me say 95.5. Oh, God. Uh, they were talking about the guns that came to the warehouse and whatever, whatever. Oh, God, we talking about and that just this, now. This, 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 this troll right? It's not because, well, all the guns is because they're fed up with the PNM. So that is what all they want, eh? That guns Serious. must come to kill innocent people. Serious? In Canada, because what? you all don't like wow. the Prime Minister of Canada and Tobago. Yeah, but you all go yeah, ahead. You all go ahead. There is a God above. You all fix up. Yeah, but you ask about, about, about Guaido. Guaido somewhere else in Ayat, they're waiting to just get an entry in. Uh, that is why Kamala want to win. So you could come here and run to Canada and Tobago with her. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Listen now. Uh, I wonder if people just think of what this, they want to say or if it is just fly out just so. Hmm. And it's not just hearing it on the radio. You see comments. It's the most such a disrespectful comments. I, I, you know, I don't know now. Like, <sighs> it's, uh, sometimes I try to breathe in, breathe out. Caller, good morning. Hello? Yes, go ahead, caller. Yes. Sharon, I hear your partner yesterday on Aisha program. Who is that? Uh -huh. Blasting the government. He said that conversation with the Prime Minister was staged. Oh, God, he gets on the on Aisha program yesterday. He cussed up as an Ashing and all yesterday on his, on, his, on his contribution. So I want to know what stage. What, 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 how, how they stage that, that conversation? Huh? All of a sudden, Kingsley, the mouth just twists around again. So I want to find out from Kingsley if it is that the handbag he carry now, if it gets a little heavier than the one he had before, that is why he turned around his mouth now. Have a good day. Well, I didn't hear the program because I was busy out doing some stuff, so I didn't hear the program. So I can't comment on it, but I will go back and listen. Oh, you know, let <clears throat> me tell you, like, King Z is your own man. I ain't not getting, losing no sleep over King Z and where he want to see. What we need to do is put our house in order. Hmm. Right? And once we have the facts, we come with it. And it's not just, the, not just King Z, you know, there are other persons. You have the facts, come let us drop it and deal with it. Don't sit down on it. And wait, we're waiting on. Deal with it one time. Hmm. But, so be it. But we're taking a call still. And I want to shift gears a little bit in a short while. But I want to thank all of you for calling in on, and commenting. Even Tobago have their issues. And as I said, I'm not stopping Tobago from venting. Because sometimes on mornings, they, it's very hard for them to get in. So when they could get in, I allow them to make the contribution. And I'll be doing so all the time. So let me say good morning to hey, hey, Andrew Rice. Good morning, Andrew Innes. Ashford Legerton again. Cynthia Jackson. Um, Ghetto, you see them kind of big hardwood name it has put on here? <laughs> Ghetto, good morning. Ghetto Gonda. Boy, I you know if it's so pronounced it now. He have Eleanor Kotoy. Good morning, um, Shireen Lewis, Juliana Hamilton. Um, I hope I 
I think that's, I should have touched with everybody now. All right, Tony Belize. Diane Aliyah Mohammed, Carol Daniel. Right, I think that's it. Sherry, Sherry and George. Good morning, Sherry Ann. Listening to us all the way in New York City. Chill and Prince. Alicia Allman de Roach. Good morning, Phil and Francis. Lawrence R. Gibbs. Lawrence, boy, we couldn't play your tune the last time, now. Nah? Morning to you, Annette Baird. Uh, Kimberly Dennis. Good morning to everybody. Kurt Shaw. Good morning. Mary Wright. Mary Alice, sorry. Mary Alice. Good morning. All right, so Bruce, if you have any there, take it. No. I don't know, YouTube, you have one? No, no. Not as yet. Well, on YouTube, Sean Charles, Lynette Sinclair, Ernesta Richards, Ian Bristol, Umelta Ward, Hugh Bridgman. All of you, good morning, good morning. All right, I would have called the other people this morning. Have one. Go ahead. Caller, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Morning, morning. <laughs> morning, Sharon. Morning, morning. Sharon. Yes. Why the letter UNC is in the middle of the word dunce? The opposition leader ain't learned nothing from the AV drilling fake oil fiasco. Mm. She could hardly walk. You know, she dives into the water off boat six. Blaming Paria Fuel Trading Company, calling for a criminal investigation, want the acting commissioner of police to cordon off the area, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. involving the Coast Guard. This big essay, only here the pipe is 30 inch. You know, She's singing Kate Bamboo Girl. <laughs> Here was that UNC do song night. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Who's? Unclean. They made it. Uncharitable. Mr. St. Madeline. He <laughs> got <laughs> When I hear him say the pipe, I started. I say, oh God, Lord, Father, I hope he ain't, he ain't miss it and fall off the wig. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Hey. Morning, morning, crown point. <laughs> you have a minute again, Sharon? A good what they say, Bruce? You have a minute again. As good as any, I'm better than many, not controlled by any. Sharon. Excellent, excellent. You have a minute. Bruce, good morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning Dominic. Morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Hey. Hey, hey, I want to piggyback, I piggyback in on Mount St. George's contribution this morning. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with Mr. Mount St. George. Exactly that is what's happening in Tobago. Well, Sean, you know, I had to vent me feeling. You said vent your feeling, I vent your feeling. Well, wait now, wait. Hold on. We have to go to the break. Bruce, how long, how much more time we have again? A few seconds. We have to go to the break. I want you to vent. So I want you to call back when we come back from the break. All right, I will call back. Right, because I want you to vent All good. Right. All right, I will call And back. when we come back, guys, I want you see guns? Oh, you see guns and ammunition? Oh, hmm. God. Bruce, get it prepared because we're putting it up. Oh, All my right. gosh. But let me tell all you. Hmm. Don't play with intelligence eh? it has let it go one two three hmm. four times let it go to where it had to go and trace it and find it ah! oh god that is gone jesus we'll be back i 
when people won't get jump on a plane Heading from New York straight to Port of Spain <laughs> As you reach about halfway the pilot crack Look back and all Forget some paper home, so he must go. How it go low? Start the way up. How it go? Hey, how it go? Dina day, Dina day, Dina day. Sing again. You think it's just a play, mas boy? You ain't sure. Boy, so I don't even connect us knocking your door. What? You put your pussy costume looking for fun. What? Turn up a Tuesday morning, the rain comes. How it go low? Countries to represent, but catch them in a big fat or a nightclub. What? Instead of jamming, no guy is the only dog. How we go low? Why you put your hand in the air? How we go low? Somebody tell me. How we go low? Tell me. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? How we go? Hold on. I like the balloons. Yeah, like we go side to side. We go side to side. Hold on. We going so close, eh? Your left. All right, nice this. We're going slow, side to side. Take down the balloons. Take down the balloons. Take them down. Take it down. Yes. Take them down. Take it down. Take it down. Stand by, stand by. Let me see your right hand. Show me balloons. I want to see your right hand. Put them up. Put them up. Put them up. On four. We're going side to side. On one, two. Slow, 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 slow. 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 Lean your body. Lean your body. Lean your body. Lean, your body. Lean it. Bend your back, lean it. Lean your body, lean it. Bend your back, lean it. Lean your body. Let's get it faster, let's get it faster. Where you going? 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 Faster, faster. Whip, whip, whip. You go. For a safe and relaxed professional massage therapist and nutritionist, look no further. Nature's Touch with Empress Judy and Associates offers a natural approach to better health. Treat yourself to a professional massage therapy and nutrition advice in a safe and relaxed atmosphere. Rejuvenate your body, mind, and soul at Nature's Touch Therapy. For an appointment, please call or WhatsApp 1-866-398-8282. Or visit our Facebook page. Remember, your health is our responsibility at Nature's Touch. Tune into the street at 919 FM this and every Thursday for the program Conscious Talk. Conscious Talk. Where we are at and where we are going with Steve Antoine as regards the land space for the celebration of Emancipation Day. Every Thursday from 1025 a.m. to 1055 a.m. It's Conscious Talk on the street 919 FM. The deals are at East Side Plaza, located at number 32 Shannon Street in Port of Spain. It's a sale on everything at all stores. Opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Everything from food stuff, lunches, pottery, African wear, Christmas gift items, tailor services, hair salon services, and so much more. Everything means everything. Head into Port of Spain and check out East Side Plaza at number 32 Charlotte Street. 
Join the winning team with Pastor Alkaline John every Monday from 10.05 a.m. to 11 a.m. and every Wednesday evening from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. live on the street 919 FM as he talks about La Vive, the power of five fruits, one of the most powerful antioxidant supplements on the market today. The five superfruits in La Vive are mangosteen, acai, pomegranate, gogi, and nuni. These fruits have a positive and profound impact on human health, performance, and disease. Listen to Pastor Alkaline John every Tuesday at 9.05 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the street 919 FM as he gives live testimonials of the Laviv healing powers. To get more information, you can contact Pastor Alkaline John at 516-286-7079, 516 516- 286-7079 or you can visit his webpage at www.alkalinejohn.com Get ready! Pretty British, Brother Jay and Ali Perry presents Caribbean Soca Madness Part 1 Drink your water and mind my business I go drink water and mind my business Saturday, April 16th at the Onyx Venue, 27A Queensway, Bletchley, Milton Keynes, featuring the big man in the business, Iwa George. Yes, and this is me, Iwa George, the big boss in the business, April 16th, Soka Madness Part 1. Yes, I'm going to be in London, I'm coming to shell it. Say yo London, April 16th. It's all about the Caribbean Soka Madness Part 1. I will be here. I'm not waiting to be your friend Blinkin' Bud. I'm your friend I'm thinking, Bud. Music by DTTP. Rigo Suave, the stage guard. Selector G. Survival number one. And DJ Wins. Tickets available on Eventbrite UK. Early bird tickets, £25 from March 6th. For more info, call Allison at 447588376951. Trini British, 4474. 404-05-0703 and Brother J 447508-862-718 Saturday, April 16th Caribbean Soka Madness Part 1 London, it's your turn! Paying for too many entertainment subscriptions? Well, don't! A Digicel 13-day Prime $199 bundle is your one stop for premium entertainment. Save big with more gigs for the best premium content on the go. Watch more flicks and binge shows in Playgo with one month's free HBO 4-pack. Stream unlimited songs and playlists in D-Music and listen to your favorite podcasts on Go Loud. All your movies, music, sports, and more wherever you go. Just $199 for a 30-day Prime bundle. Bundle upgrade today in my Digicel app or dial star 323 number sign. Digicel, better together. Police, good day. Officer Best Price here. Johnny Q Auto Parts Division? Yes, sir. I'm here to investigate an assault on batteries. Excuse me, sir? Is it true? You have batteries selling for $488? Yes. Power Master, Optima, Vata, and Megastar batteries. So I can buy a battery for $488? Yes, sir. For cars, trucks, and boats. Backed and distributed by Massey Automotive. Which part? Right here at Johnny Q Hardware and Auto Parts Division. 15 Arabita Avenue, Woodbrook. And our new Johnny Q Superstore. Located at Lola. Mall off Cloud Noel Highway in Tobago. You could call 60 tools. All right. Thanks, boss. <laughs> nah, man. Granny. Do you have $488 to lend, man? Dr. Lee Vivian Soka Madness Part 1. Join him right here on your radio every Friday afternoon from 5.05 p.m. to 5.35 p.m. for your dose of the health and wellness in a program that is sure to change your life. Popular for promoting Livet rather than diet, Dr. Livet has transformed a number of lives nationwide and is now live on the street 919 FM every Friday from 5.05 p.m. Tune in and also learn about the U-Juice to build your immunity and promote overall great health. Dr. Levet on the street 919 FM this and every Friday from 5.05 p.m. to 5.35 p.m. It's time that you live. From the studio to the stage, every Friday between 3 to 4 p.m. Right here on the street 919 FM. Radio you can see. Log on to our Facebook and YouTube so you can see live interviews and performances. 
from some of our very own local superstars. Right here on the street, 919FM. Down low and listen to the master's radio. The Church of the Firstborn Assembly of numbers 399 Eastern Main Road, Guayco San Grande, is pleased to present Pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson and guest. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Friday night, Sunday Ministry of Worship. Children Hour and the Word from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays, see Jesus in every book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Tuesday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And Friday night, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All night prayer for our nation. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everyone. For further information, visit with us at www.churchofthefirstbornassembly.org or on Facebook. Facebook. Email us at church668hope at gmail.com or call us at 753-1113 or 236-7271. Your free gifts and offerings will be greatly appreciated at Church of the Firstborn Assembly, account number 795222 at the First Citizens Bank. Get in touch with God. Share the line. Share the line. The Street 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM. The titans of democracy on The Street 919 FM. Yo, Yo. this is your boy Ziggy Rankin, and right now you're listening to the titans of democracy. You don't know. Real talk. 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 So welcome back, welcome back on the inside. Just have a bit of quick information for you. Trini British, Brother J and Ali Berry presents Caribbean Soca Madness Part 1. Drink your water and mind my business. Saturday, April 16th at the Onyx Venue, 27A Queensway, Bletchy, Milton, Keynes. Featuring the big man in the business, Iowa George and Skinny Fabulous. Music by DTTP, Double Trouble Twin Production, Rigo. Swa- Rico Suave, sorry, The Stage God, Selector G, Survival Number no. 1, and DJ Wentz. Gates open at 8 p.m. Tickets available on every Brit UK. Early bird tickets, £35 from March 6. For more info, you can call Alison at 4475883769519. Trini British, 447404050703, and Brother J at 447508862718. Saturday, April 16, Caribbean Soka Madness Part 1, London, it's your turn. For all your hardware building materials, auto parts, small tool rentals, pets and pet supplies, gravel and sand, don't forget Powermaster, Optima, Vata and Megastar batteries, starting from $488 and it's all at Johnny Q, number 15 R. Peter Avenue, Woodbrook, and our new Johnny Q Superstore in Lowland, Small Tobago, off Claude Noel Highway. Just call 63 Tools. At Value Optical, you see everyday savings at all 14 locations. Whether you're 8 or 80, our experts deliver eye care solutions for all your vision needs. At Value Optical, you also get the fastest delivery of your new specs, so you don't have to wait to see in style. Value Optical, expert care for your eyes. Relax and unwind with a Guinness, the perfect revitalizing drink to cool you down after a long day. Grab one from the freezer, prop up on the couch, and enjoy your me time to the fullest with an ice-cold Guinness. 
Shop now at New City Mall and check out our premium selection of high-quality clothing and accessories for men and women. Save on all items with competitive prices and courteous service throughout the entire mall. New City Mall, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. New City Mall is located in the heart of Port of Spain with entrances on 3 Charlotte Street and 41 Independence Square. Our opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. And join Pastor Kelvin, Harry, Narayan, and friends for the Way, the Truth, the Life radio program, Radio Ministry, a Church of Live Ministry, live on the street, 919 FM, every Sunday from 6.05 p.m. to 7 p.m. For further information, you can contact 686-3845 or 349-5178 or 342-7303. Join Dr. Levette right here on the street 909 FM every Friday afternoon from 5.05 p.m. to 5.35 p.m. for your dose of health and wellness in a program that's sure to change your life. Popular for promoting Levette rather than diet, Dr. Levette has transformed a number of lives nationwide. Tune in and also learn about the usual to build your immunities and promote overall great health. Dr. Levett on the street 909 FM every Friday from 5.05 p.m. to 5.35 p.m. It's time that you live. For more information, you can call 638-9437. And the deals are at Eastside Plaza, located at number 32 Charlotte Street in Port of Spain. It's a sale on everything at all stores at Eastside Plaza. And everything means everything. Our opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Head into Port of Spain and check out Eastside Plaza, number 32 Charlotte Street. And you can tune into the street 919 FM every Thursday from 10.05 a.m. to 10.20 a.m. for the program Straight and Narrow, The Way of Life. The health store being brought to you by Mrs. Arlene Collins Muhammad. For more information, you can check us out on Facebook at it or Instagram at Straight and Narrow or visit our website at www.opulenc.com slash Arlene for Life. You can also call or WhatsApp us at 309 4697 or 620 9379. Hmm. Yes, we're back, we're back, we're back, live on In Living Color. Remember, guys, we are on Facebook at the Street 909 FM's Facebook page, also on YouTube at Iowa TV Live Broadcast on the Street 919 FM. This is your Titans of Democracy, with the lovely Miss Sharon Felix and Bruce Swain. Hey, who's that she? Oh, what is she, what is she doing there? <laughs> Donut, Mako. <laughs> My son brought me a cup of tea. Right, so we're back? Yes, we are. All right. So Zena is trying to get, you know, I, I did see her calling, but when she called, it was when we were on the break, or sometimes, remember, we on the, I have to be calling. So mm-hmm. if somebody's engaged the, on, on the line, I will can't take the call on the same line. But if you call on the other line, I will put you to hold. So Zena, call me now, now. Right? It's 8, 11 a.m., Trinidad and Tobago. And, of course, we discussed, and I want to thank all the contributors this morning for their excellent contribution. And we're going to another topic. And then we do kind of restrict all it to one topic we could discuss because we we, we, we versatile here, you know. Mm-hmm. We, have, we have the best. <clears throat> so, Bruce, you see how much guns and ammunition? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, they have a, oh, their own army. What is this? Hmm. I say, but where all of this thing come out? Right. Zena calling me now. Zena? <laughs> yeah. Right, you're on. Oh. Go ahead, you're on, you're live. Okay. Um. Listen, morning to you, morning to Bruce. Morning. Um... I wanted to, to make a contribution when you were talking about the, um, the situation with America running into Venezuela now to talk about oil. Mm-hmm. It can't go one way, and this is what I want to say, that they can't be vexed with, 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 with um, Russia now for the behavior with Ukraine, because it's the same thing they want to, now to do with, with, with Venezuela. 
The whole thing of advantage. You can't want to come and talk and want the oil just so. So in other words, like you want to demand the oil, but you have to lift the sanctions. And why you would only want to lift the sanctions now? Because you can't get oil from out there. You understand? Hmm. And that is why we can see people who feel you see me near taking them or not, let them do what they have to do all there. But remember, we only seven miles off the coast of Venezuela. And when we say we ain't taking it on, the Venezuelans will continue to come here by the drove if you see they have anything start up out there. You understand? And Maduro does only jump in when he feels that he wants to be heard out on this end because the other day his mouth was very loud and demanding thing with the child that was shot. Mm. So he's right there to make mischief. I wait to hear if he gonna put his tail between his legs and keep quiet and wait to see what he has to say about that with them coming there now for oil and what he should tell America because He's on their side, you know. Remember, they were backing him all the time to do what he was doing. So we didn't see what will happen. But don't think we won't feel the pinch until they settle down over there and people could go back. They, I'm sure they still come in and they will continue to come. So no matter how you take it, we in the midst of all the travel I want people to, to take a note of that. And again, when I go on the, I don't know if I'll get through when I go on the situation with the gun. And we made mention of something the other morning. I don't know if you remember, Sharon. There are certain people jumping in everything in this country. Mm. We don't know how uneasy these people are and what could happen. Police have to take note, and I'm waiting to hear. This is more than one piece things happening. He's not hearing who be the rules for them. And I want them to make sure they call the perpetrators this time. Thank you, everyone. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. <coughs> Bruce, you found the pictures with the guns? Yeah. Hmm. So, um, <clears throat> viewers and listeners and callers, you need to up the numbers, share the life for those of you who didn't see it, especially our ageable people who don't have the access of the, the the WhatsApp groups that it's all over the place. So we would show you because it's in the public domain. I don't think it's anything to hide. So we would show you. That is real Bacanaldi. Papa, oi. Hmm. Hmm. That is what you call bacanal. You see, it's a barrel? Yeah. A whole barrel it come in? You ready for me to put it up? Yes, 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 put it up. Who went see that the business? They miss it. Oh, cool. But somewhere have it good with the, with the picture of the barrel. It's I have it. Right. I tell you. What are we going to do with all these high-powered rifles? What are our plans for these high-powered rifles? Hmm. God help us, you know. There is it layout. Right. That is what I was talking about. While, so leave it up and don't take it on. While we're watching, I'm taking your calls. Crong Point, good morning. Yes, Sean Felix. Mm-hmm. Here again. As I was saying, right? After the back in and mountain George contributions this morning, is exactly what's taking place. But I want to say this to the PNN people. I ain't to nobody no kids clubs. I'm talking to PNM people, which will it are to people. Now, Sean, you see how it's taking place in today we here with this distribution at this and distribution at that and distribution at the other. I have a problem with that with the PNM. Right? And this is PNM created going forward. You're not distributing when you're supposed to be distributing. You're leaving it here, you're saving it up. That somebody will come and inherit it. 
and do what you're supposed to do it from beginning. You see, Panama to understand, both Trinidad and Tobago, the political landscape has changed. Nobody has no place and now to wait until four years or five years to get something from, from who they vote for, from their representatives. We had to change that. We had to be a little more radical in our governance in the PNM party to change to Tobago. Right? All those things that we are distributing there. Was there already? Why they didn't do that before? Why did they do that before the election? Okay. You want to treat people with this blood, and you just come back to one, too. And if they were getting down on the people who are supposed to do what they're supposed to do, this would have never happened, but if I do that, they ain't going to vote for me. You can't tell you that. You ain't doing that, they still vote for you. They still didn't vote for you because you didn't do that. You know how to say you vote by the own. Who don't want to produce? You deal with them accordingly. So the people you had to gravitate more to the listen, we believe in that you are back in terms of music, but sometimes we had to put this point in it too to 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 capitalize on the young people attitude. To majority young people you had to use this point in with your music too. This is why you don't understand. The political landscape has changed Charles Felix. Do you remember the recognize this in quick time? In Tobago, yes. We still have this foolishness going on, but I don't like this one, I don't want that one, and the other one. And this is our problem. This is our problem. It's not who you like, who you don't want. It's who could win a seat and who can serve the people. This is, this is simple, you know. To tell us about niceness. And why the ugliest man will be the best, the best husband, child. Trust me, and the ugliest woman will be the best wife. Trust me on that one, eh? Right? So, Sean... I want the PNM people to change their attitude. Forget this backbiting and and, and, and and all kind of thing and get the act together. Right? The PDP won the election. They won all 15 seats. Let me tell you what you're saying. They won in 2017, in 2013. So they, we won in Tobago 12 mil. In 2017, we went, we won 10 2. We get a little lesson in 10 2. But still, we did not learn the lesson. In January of 2021, we get 6-6. Right? We alone at all. Now what happened? December. We lost. We lost. We lost our 15 seats because PDP gained plenty, plenty ground on us. Right? So this is our policy. I'm not, I not nice enough. No PNM in Tobago. They have to get up together. If they want to come back in power, they have to stop the foolishness they have. So the people want to get the opportunity to let me call by me, can I help you? Send the person where they can get help. If you can't help them directly. Simple as that. So I'll be there right now, you know. You, you know, some of what I tell you, I was in, But I had to come out and say something. I, I don't know if I'm making a shitty country. Talk, talk, your talk. Talk, your talk. Talk, yeah, your talk. A real, a real better idea. Yeah. And it's not just in Tobago, it's all Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad also, Trinidad and Tobago, that is such a foolishness, man. That is such a foolishness. That is change of silence. I'm not telling you to kill people. Do things, even though they're for real. You have a force, you have to be a little more radical, oh man. Give up for you, give up, don't wait until five years or four years. That's your working again. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh, one year. All right, take it. Kola, good morning. Hi, morning, Bruce. Shara, morning. morning. Oh, hi, morning. Bruce and Sharon, let me jog all your mind a little bit here. Remember, you remember the summit of America where, where um, Chavez came here and um, Obama came here and um, um, the Prime Minister at the time who is Patrick Manning, had um, asked for a, a, a easing of the, the, the sanctions of, of, of Venezuela. And Obama, before he left the office, he had, he had eased a lot of the sanctions of, of, on Venezuela. The incoming president, Donald Trump, together with Guaido and his allies, one who is here in Trinidad, they, they, they was lobbying Donald Trump to overthrow the sitting president of Venezuela. And um, 
they, they had the support of some European country. <clears throat> what eventually happened, the chairman of CARICOM had to ask for a, a, a hearing at the United Nations to, to give CARICOM their side of, of, of what that will entail if a full-blown war breaks out between Venezuela, United States, and their allies. United Nations listened to the, to, to, to the Caribbean, the CARICOM chairman. And based on the laws that the United Nations have put in, the other countries listened and they, they, they did not bother with that. They dropped it because Dr. Oli had a strong case. Because one of the cases that Dr. Oli was saying is that um, the Caribbean is a neutral zone. And there's, there's, there's a certain um, line of um, things you have to follow if you have to invade somebody's country. Now, what is the implication to us had Ms. Kamala Prasad the sister being Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago now that we are seeing that Biden has a different approach to Venezuela right now. Now, let me tell all this something. As much as Venezuela has its ties with, you, with Russia, Venezuela has its own, own problems. So they would, they would uh, at least take some of the, the sanctions and, and agree certain things and they will uh, disagree certain things, but they will come to a resolution. Now we are saying that the um, United States wants the oil. I don't think that United States really wants the oil from Venezuela. What United States have to also understand is that other countries who can't get oil from, from Russia, he has to help them get the oil from Venezuela, oil and gas. So that is how it works. So it ain't like Biden won the oil from thing. No, it don't work so. And Russia and Venezuela has their issues. Venezuela have a real, real bad issues. And the, 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 the president, that's why the president is willing to listen. So now they end the negotiation. And it will come to a resolution that will think. But in going and leaving, I want to thank Prime Minister Dr. Rowley for this, this last term. And, and, you know, he's on his second term for steering this country out of the precipice. Because when, when, when you look at the things that this Kamala Prasad and her uh, colleagues, a uh, 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 member of parliament and them said about the Venezuelan president, if she becomes, God forbid, if Kamala Prasad becomes prime minister of Trinidad, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, what would be our relationship with Venezuela? And how would that affect us? You know, because she jumped out of the gun and first to talk about she supports Guaido. And she mm -hmm. has never changed her position, at least, let me rephrase that. I have never heard her change her, her position on Guaido. She still, uh, according to what I know, and I'm saying that because I don't want to get rid of the in problem. According to what I know, she have never changed her position with Guaido. So we, that is, that is the avenues that we should be looking at and we be talking about. Because I, I had to say that again. God works in mysterious ways. When that thing happened, thank God we had Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley as chairman of, of, of CARICOM and prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Not near Martin, because I don't think she'll be able to, to deal with that delicate and technical aspect of this, this whole problem that would affect the, 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 the West Indies real bad. Thank God for that. God works in a mysterious way because if it has been Miss Kamala Prasad, she would have been backing Trump to invade the people on them. Now the, now, now the, the, the table's turning. What, what is our position now? So people of Trinidad and Tobago, well, let's think about this. She, Kamala Prasad, the sister, is unfit for office of Trinidad and Tobago. Any office, as a matter of fact. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kola. <laughs> 827. 827. Bruce, if you have it there, take it. No, nothing. All right. So, Trinidad and Tobago. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say, no. I don't know what to say this morning. Hmm. I want to confuse. Not, not a confused, you know. I'm happy that people are speaking their mind. Hello, good morning. Good morning again, Bruce. Good morning again, Karen. Morning, man. The only thing about it is that 
with Camilla puts that necessity to have nothing to say right now. Because when she's seen that America's coming down and talk to Venezuela, I know America will come and talk to Venezuela because of the oil. America's saving the cap in the oil, you know. The cap in the oil. And Venezuela closer to them than Russia. They could always get something from here in case of a world war. And that that's what came in up to us. That's what they were talking about. But Miss Camilla Pussat this says that she should just get down and go and hide on the gun because everything that woman do and say is turned around the other. She has nothing proper to say. And here on her allies, she has nothing to say. She can be going back together with her. So things might work better for her before King Lee holding she briefcase. Bruce, as you know, good morning. I forget to tell you good morning this morning. I don't know forget, you know, but it's too much people. Anyway, Miss Camilla puts her this sister, go and hide on the ground. What are we going to do with all that guns? But I wonder if she had anything to do with her. She knew about her. She saying nothing. That's why she opened her mouth to be in case there's anything. She had guns to back. She up a gun. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Hey, Cheryl, you have any idea? Yes, Bruce, I have here. Okay. Um, Caller, good morning. Hi, morning. Right. No, 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 no. I am Um, I don't want to talk much about camera. I saw this the book about camera. I don't want to talk camera. I think it's first place again. So, I don't really have to camera. But what my, my biggest concern is, is that every five or six months, we happen to be getting arms and ammunition from a certain port. They don't come, they, they don't, they don't come in the port in, 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 in for us, yeah. Like one important central police has three but all along the we happen to be getting every five every five or six months. About six months ago, probably I can't remember what the last number, but last year, we got same we, we, we get guns ammunition around the same area. That's in central central port. So my problem is and then you yeah, had someone talking and talking revolution, 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 right you. Me being me being and then I hear yeah, for that thing on on on, on, on Live media, the fabric government, so so that 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 Now, me being a trained person, my mind and soul work different ways already because I want to know what because all and all and got them that are weapons are high part of them. These are sword rifles. So, what do they want all this for? Why 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 we need all this in China? Where is the purpose? And how come nobody nobody get a copy for the for the for the last set? What going with with this set? So so I don't know what what are you going on? Because me being a trained person, I, I want to know this this can't come in the, 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 for, for no reason. This year for a reason. And who been here who been here and for what? That's my problem. And like I say, this woman I I just want to talk much about this one because she always puts a foot a foot in her mouth because she she research nothing. All she do is is call and talk with the right for she to see. She does research nothing because if you could, if you ask you what was she last two weeks? She can't tell you because she can't remember. She does she does research nothing, and that is the person everybody will run behind to try and be a leader, to try and run this country. A little, a little, who can remember? Not much is here a month ago. If you ask Dr. Red, what you say? In November, he can tell you. Ask you what you say in December, she can't tell you. Dr. Red, Thank you very much. Do you have any idea? I have another yeah. one here. I want you. Right. Go ahead. Monk St. George, hold on. Hello, good morning. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bruce Wayne. Merry Christmas, my brother. How are you this morning? Well, giving thanks and praises for the better light fortune a cloudy and breezy kind of day. Mr. Felix, Merry Christmas, my dear. Merry Christmas, Brother Sterling. How are you? How are you? I am great now. I hear you feeling like on top of the world. Nice. I'm coming to make some coffee for you because I see outside cold and wet. Well, boy, my son, make it already, so you're... you're, you're nice. Um... Blessing. That is good. <laughs> Mr. Antilles and Mr. Bruce Wayne, there's a lot of serious, serious business we're talking about here in Trinidad and Tobago because 
of the other day, they are talking about the justice system in Santa Tobago, Mr. Sharon Felix and Mr. Bruce Wayne. Here, and now we find hundreds of guns and ammunition again in Trinidad and Tobago, which we find many throughout the years coming up, Mr. Sharon Felix and Mr. Bruce Wayne. And up to today, we ain't hear one word that anybody get charged, anybody get hold, because I still just wonder what is the media position in Trinidad and Tobago with all these things happening. It doesn't need, all they just do is make sure when the Prime Minister has something, they up in his nose. You hear? And when these things happen, it doesn't hear anything concerning these things when it happened in Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Anthony, it's not now we're finding all these guns and ammunition in Trinidad and Tobago, and not one person, not one person we could hear get charged or make a jail or nothing come out of it, Mr. Sharon Felix. And this is another one, Mr. Felix. And Mr. Bruce Wayne, we have to remember 1990 in Trinidad and Tobago. And half of the players from 1990 in Trinidad and Tobago is the people still there in the parliament of Trinidad and Tobago carrying on the same mission that they carry on in Trinidad and Tobago in 1990, Mr. and Felix. Here, yeah. this is the same players playing themselves in Trinidad and Tobago again with all these guns and ammunition coming into this country. And up to today, the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago can't hear somebody get arrested, somebody make jail, or nothing, Mr. Aaron Felix. What it is going on in Trinidad and Tobago? That is why my, my Prime Minister had us to come out to Tuesday night and talk about the justice system in Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Sean Felix and Mr. Bruce Wayne, we in for a rough, rough ride in Trinidad and Tobago with the players we have in the parliament called themselves opposition in Trinidad and Tobago, which I anoint them as a bunch of criminals in Trinidad and Tobago and in the parliament at Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Bruce Wayne and Mr. Sharon Felix, you all have a blessed and pleasant they are sorry, you know, but we have to be very skeptical and careful in this land at this present time, Mr. Sharon Felix and Mr. Bruce Wayne. Thanks for the time and only have a peaceful and blessed day for me. Please thank you kindly. Yes, my brother. Take care. Thank you very much, Brother Sterling. I think I have one caller. Good morning. You know Monk St. George? Yes, Monk St. George, yes. Yes, yes right. I am totally agreeing with some points. Well, let me say a thousand percent. And this is one of the downfalls here in Trinidad and Tobago. It happened under Mr. Manning. Of course, I remember, like, I even seen the buildings and them uh, down San Fernando, these high rise houses there. They have these houses for years, then Mulia, and they come in and they say they have about 100,000 a week or whatever, what it was and whatever, whatever. You can always put up buildings for people, whether it's middle class or low class or whoever, and have it stand up there for years upon years, pay security to secure them. Sometimes they vandalize them and they would not give out the buildings to the people in Tobago. That is how um, Mr. Pollard could come and say he's giving out houses that they didn't build in three months' time. is because his PNM was there all the time. The, let me tell you, Andy Sharon, there's a, some uh, huts. Let me call them huts. But nice building uh, for business. When you're going into Plymouth, right after Colon, uh, they call that area River Road. Opposite River Road in residential area. And... For years upon years upon years, I think those buildings were even built by Mr. London and the people, the, the, some of the buildings that they unoccupied. PNM administration, when you are building buildings, if you have people who don't want them, 
move on to somebody else. You can't have them for 10 or 15 years stand up there and not bring anything to them. You have to go and do adjustment to them because they're run down, because they're nothing new. And this is one of the things that is killing. Because they say for 21 years, I'm talking about that same call and area. And the Sharon, it's a real houses. I don't know if you know too much. Close to where you see and you uh, still find it. Real building, high rise, low building, all were built by the PNN under Mr. London and was given out by Mr. London. But they just stayed too long to give the people and everything. I don't know what has been the real problem. Even uh, some kind of, whether they have to get certified or whatever, but these things should be in place before the buildings even go on the land. So when the, when the buildings are complete, they say 10 buildings complete, you have 10 people, hand them out one side. You're waiting until five and six and seven years when it's close to election, they get the people and then the building and it doesn't make no sense. So concrete, you are totally right. You are totally right. This is the problem. People want, people think that they don't want no yarn and dashing. I'm just using this as an example. Again, that you have to boil for long hours. People want to go by the doubles man and buy doubles. They want it now for now. All of get on all of act and do what you all have to do. PNM administration, go into the other and to be good. Dr. Rowley, you put up something, give it out now. Do it now. Don't wait until next week when you vying for prime ministership again. Give it out right now. Thank you very much, Monk St. George. And it's 8.39 a.m. It's 8.40, actually. So in a short time, we'll be getting ready to give the chair up. Proceed, okay? Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. Um, you're making me and all get two off. Yeah. <laughs> you're watching it? Not yet. I know Peyton, but I didn't see it start as yet. I know we're going Okay. On. Zina? Yes, morning again. Well, you make me come out and sit down here to take my petrol. <laughs> 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 because I show, you know, I tested this morning, I watch now on YouTube, you know, and I come out, there's a whole totally different person. That is what I tell you. Nice listening, so, oh God. That is what I tell you, remember, it have a little delay. You know, I like the PNM blanket. Bring it out in the living room. Bring it out. Bring the, bring the PNM blanket. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> listen, um, I want to go back to this um, opposition leader and the Venezuela and Guaido. You know, what, what they, she doesn't want to hug up, she doesn't she want to hug up um, whoever it is, you know. If table stand and she get back there, she will cut them up and be very nice. Because you remember, she is because she opposition. Why is she getting on so sweet? Let's come here already. Um, diplomatic person, was it? Um, Guaido, Maduro, Maduro, um, Chavez. No, when she, she was shaking hand and hugging, it was Maduro, him. Maduro, and she gave him the, the picture, right? It must so Mad all of a sudden, you so want to pick a picture because anything that try to be opposed to the government. You understand? So if, if it changed, you would see how quick the table still. And am I hearing things be coming back and holding the handbag? I do do. I know I have to hear more and more. Than <laughs> <that one>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to be going in, all your talk, because I'm always telling them that down here. They want to pick something. That is why I always put the, the one who she was in, in housing when, 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 with Mr. Manning. You always... Wait until we win the election. Win what election? Give out the houses. Hmm. You let the UNC come and give out the whole uh, you know, little pot behind me here. Clean the heights and all over you. All the, the people. It have a man who I know holds with Jack. When I hear him boast him, he's going to get one of the houses again, you know. Jack is my boy. I say, uh huh. That is what PNM was waiting for. All you build up twenty million all down interest rate. All you give them out and a and a and a kiss from St. George and, and Bonacord and them today. Right. You have we have to start to talk to PNM serious. 
don't stay there and keep quiet and let them know where they're going wrong. Look what Farley and them doing themselves now. Like they did put things in place to get people. Look how many um, properties the PLM are quiet to shout in Tobago, all those estates that are divided into plots and all kinds of things. They have houses. Or they get it out now. Think election coming fast and furious. What are they waiting for? Because they're getting their family, you know. And sometimes the, all the family own in one street. So, I want to St. George and them to talk and keep singing it in their head. Thank you, this morning. Thank you very much, Zina. I have one more caller. Good morning. Caller, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Mm hmm. One question. All those guns and chants that they have in this way, how does that have anything to do with it? It being made at the PNM? Yes, in office, you're doing something Well, Gail, that, that, that have me feeling scared. Eh? By a caller. So the realization that the only way to read of the white, all the SPs, all the MPs, let me use the words that all the SPs and the farmers. I want to know if those families have anything to do with those statements being made. Locked on and listening, and I'm watching it and it's live. Thank you very much, Bruce. Yeah. I wonder if the trip to Dubai had anything to do with invest TT, export TT, seek business opportunities in Dubai. Hmm. Invest and Export TT will be seeking to promote business opportunities for Trinidad and Tobago at the Expo 2020 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The forum takes place on Thursday, and that's today. In a joint statement, Export TT General Manager, Client Services, Dan Raj Harry Prasad, said Trinidad and Tobago is open for business with the United Arab Emirates. Hi, you have it there, take it now. I see nothing. Well, all right, I have one here. Call her morning. Good morning, Sharon and Dean. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Talk about the court cases. I know someone who has been for case for 13 years, and it seems as though the person does know that the case was put off. So I don't know what's going on there. And you know, we what we can do as citizens, maybe we could make a listen to the village and tell send it into the government and tell them what we would like them to do because um, you know the regular roofs and building things and improving on those big things so as we say you know, they don't count that is something that they are doing so if we could do something for this person who wants the house build that person wants some water in the house and whatever it is let, the, let us see what it is we want them to do than the other saying they ain't doing anything and they ain't doing it. They haven't done anything. So only so we can get it because I think what they are doing that makes general for the country and not the individual is neutral. I think individual things want to write and say, well, this is what I want to do. For and they do it that way instead of doing it in general. Okay, and that's the individual is neutral. <laughs> No reading the article here. That Monks and George and I'm talking draw for THA lands and houses next week. Hmm. Um, Secretary of Settlement, Public Utilities and Urban Development, Ian Pollard. Papa, you. Hmm. Zina, Zina, and Monks and George and all of them. They write, you know, when PNM do it, give it out. If all the thing give it out. What we keep what we holding it back for is for the people give it out. And that will just cause all the little nitty gritties, you know. No, because we want to cross all the, the T's and dot all the I's and do all what we have to do right and so on. Mm. And the other people doesn't be doing that. No. They're doing whatever they look, let me don't go there. Let me leave that alone. Anyhow, it's 8 47 a.m. <clears throat> Again, let me thank all of you for your contribution this morning. And I feel I have to buy a phone for that battery. Battery, see that phone? That yeah, phone boy. have a, 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 um, a magnet force going on, boy. Like it ain't <laughs> where to talk. So I feel I got to buy a phone for you. Don't worry. Soon come. So I want to thank everybody this morning for being part of the discussion, tuning in, you know, and taking part and so on. I want to 
um, thank you guys so much. And I hear people bowling about, and let me just put this to rest. If people doesn't understand what it takes, the Prime Minister's conversation is not a, 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 a thing which is, well, how do you say it, well? It, 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 um, what is the word they use? Give me the word now. I don't want to use the wrong word. In other words, it is a, is a, is a set up thing. It's then. stage. A stage thing. That's it. It's not stage. Dr. Rowley comes out there. Before we had the pandemic and he come out to the conversation, there are people in the crowd and they will ask questions. Yeah. And he makes sure on that night and whatever, wherever he go in, the appropriate ministers walk. As a matter of fact, nearly all the ministers are there. So in the event that a question comes up for a ministry in particular, he calls on them to take the mic and answer. So to say that that was stage, I mean, come on. If the UNC have not had a vision in which to do something like this, then don't vex with the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago today, Dr. Rowley. People have to have vision. You have to have an innovative mind. You have to continue with, with different policies and things that you think will reach the people. And, and I want to congratulate Dr. Rowley said something on Saturday. We had a general council and he said something. And I want to give him, a, 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 I want to put a cap on his head and tell him, go to the head of the class. And guys, stay tuned, man. The earth will start rumbling in a short while. Hmm. But we could only rumble when we have things in which to make the noise. True. So don't worry now. We need to pray and stop fighting. And this one, at the end of the day, all the fight against and fight down and the who don't like this one and COVID come in and take all all and go with all. It then saying, oh, well, Bruce, oh, well, Jaren, whoever, and if you can't make it, you can't make it. I continue to say, let's stop it. We could agree to disagree in a respectful way. True that. I make no comments. I'll tell all you. I never hide my political affiliation. But if something wrong, I not come in here to make myself no fool and tell you yes. No, I will. There are things I may argue on things. I'm not going to say anything. And if anybody have an issue, and I feel that yes, it is worth airing. Go ahead. Like start. this morning. So, people could get vexed anyhow. The word for today is bold. I am bold and courageous as I stand firm in my faith. I have daily opportunities to use my strength, exercise my faith, and live life with boldness. I express spiritual boldness as confidence and self-assuredness. I live courageously through my divine identity. Within me are the attributes of divine wisdom, understanding, judgment, and a power. At any moment of the day, I can shift my focus inward to my divine core. I shift my energy away from the temptation of self-doubt or uncertainty and towards spirit's presence and grace. Throughout the span of years and changes the life, brings i am sure or secure in that which does not change the presence of activity of god in me i choose to boldly stand firm in my faith and live life to the fullest i hereby command you be strong and courageous do not frighten or dismay for the lord your god is with you what wherever you go joshua 1 9 Trinidad and Tobago, this is where we got to leave it for today. We talk to you all. Till tomorrow, I'm coming back on tomorrow mm -hmm. because I'm working back all my days. <laughs> all right? So, Dominic, we, we did a little switch yesterday. I couldn't come on because the internet really, really messed up. So, today I'm on. I'm tomorrow. Please, God, I'll be on to, con to close off my, my end of the bargain. Yes. All right? <laughs> so, tomorrow I'm on again. Please, God. And on Sunday, you will hear from Dominic. So don't you if you dial up next is Google, followed by the VNR show, Aisha Wells. Please do not shift one finger. Be gone. Be good. Be safe. Ciao. Ciao.
YZ the ranking and right now you're listening to the titans of democracy. You don't know. Real talk. The views expressed are not necessary.